Hello, and welcome to this film, which is all about the reactions of acids with metals. Now, you're going to need a few different things to do this experiment. It's quite a simple experiment, but you're going to need some acids. So we've got sulfuric acid, nitric acid, and hydrochloric acid. And you're going to need some metals, which are copper, zinc, magnesium, aluminium, and iron. And the iron is in the form of steel wool. Now, every one of these reactions is going to take place inside a test tube, so you need some test tubes. And you're also going to produce a gas on some occasions. So you want to test that gas today by seeing what effect a flame has on that gas. So we've got this wooden splint, which we're going to use to try and light any gas that we produce. And then the last two bits of equipment that we need are really just kind of to keep things safe, I suppose, and tidy. We've got a heat mat here for when we're burning things, and we've got a sieve. And that's there so that when we empty our test tubes down the sink, we can catch any unreacted pieces of metal. Right, so as far as setting it up goes, it really couldn't be much simpler. You're going to take yourself a test tube, and then you're going to choose one of your three acids. I've got hydrochloric acid here. It comes in a dropper bottle, so we've got this dropping pipette with it. And you're going to need to put, I don't know, about five or six of these into the test tube. Um, and all of them dispense slightly different amounts. So a good guide to uh, how much to take would be once you've got about a two-finger depth inside your test tube, okay? So if, if what you've got in your test tube is about two fingers deep, then you've got enough acid, okay? Now, having got your acid in there, you're now going to pop your metal inside it, okay? So I'm going to start with my iron and... The iron wall might need some persuasion to get down to the bottom of the tube, but you just poke it down there, make sure it's submerged in the acid. And some of these reactions are faster than others. So if it doesn't look like anything is happening straight away, just put it in the test tube rack and let it have some time to get reacting. And once you've done that, you can move on to your next metal. So let's say we wanted to do aluminium next. We take some acid, put it in the test tube, Put the aluminium in there with it, give it a bit of a swirl, and see if it starts reacting or not. Okay, now if your metal produces a gas, you're going to see that because there's going to be fizzing in the test tube. So this one's been fizzing away a bit. Okay, now if you're going to test that gas, you want to trap it inside the test tube. Okay, the way to do that is simply to put your thumb over the end of the test tube. And you might have to be a little bit patient with this, right? Because the gas might not be being produced that quickly. And you want to kind of get a fair amount of gas in this tube before you test the gas. Okay? Testing it is a matter of getting your wooden splint, lighting it in the Bunsen flame. So that's why this Bunsen flame has been sitting here burning for a while. And then lighting the gas in your test tube. Now, I have taken my thumb off the test tube quite a long time there before I lit the gas. And bear in mind, if this gas is lighter than air, it's just going to escape from your test tube while you're kind of in between tasks there. So what I would suggest is that one person holds the tube while the other person gets the splint ready, and when you're ready to light the gas, just take your thumb off the end and light it like that. Okay, now your aim here today is to try and test every one of the five metals with every one of the three acids and see if you notice any patterns in the reactions. Okay, so do they react in similar ways or are some metals different to others? Right, well hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you've got any questions about it then make sure you ask your teacher before you start and get a decent method written down in your practical book so that you can get it checked off and then you're ready to go.